Hello my furniture painting friends. This is Shannon with Black Sheep House. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my secret weapon for painting furniture without sanding first. And that includes laminate. Yes, you heard me right. Painting laminate without sanding first and still having a durable finish. Here's my secret weapon. Zinzer BIN Shellac Based Primer. No other will do. This is the product you must have to make this work. Now, I haven't tried any other shellac based primers, so let me know if you have, um, but this is the one that came highly recommended from cabinet refinishers that I know. When using this product, you'll notice right away that it is a little smelly, so you'll wanna be in a well-ventilated area or wearing a mask or both. And I like to use disposable items when I'm painting with this shellac based primer. So I'll use a disposable foam roller. I wrap my paint tray in aluminum foil and I'll use things like little sponge brushes instead of my regular brushes that I um, love so much. So this is you're going to notice right away that it sticks really well you're going to feel it just really landing on the piece and it's also very very thin so it's not as thick as um, paint but it's got some really good coverage for you so that's going to be great for painting white um, or any light colors I'm using the liquid version, but it also comes in an aerosol can. This product dries so fast, you're gonna be able to recoat it. We're gonna be doing two coats total of primer in 45 minutes. I wanted to zoom in here and show you guys what great coverage just one coat of the primer gave me. I'm going to wait 45 minutes for this to dry and then off screen I'll apply a second coat of the primer and then we will get started with the paint. This is just going to be a two step process, primer and paint. Um, I Like I said earlier, just going to throw that away. Once you've primed your piece, you can use any paint you want, but these are my two faves. I went with the satin enamel this time, just for a little bit more of a matte finish, which is slightly less durable than the semi-gloss. So if you have like kids, or if this is going to be used to, I don't know, maybe serve food on it or something, if you're using it like as a buffet, then maybe you wanna go with the semi-gloss or you might want to put a top coat on it but I'm just using this in a bedroom and so the satin finish is going to be great for that. Now you guys see my little secret weapon number two here is using the sponge roller. I really like using the sponge roller and applying the paint laterally. I will just dab it in, you know, pour it onto a plate and then I'll dab my 
roller in the paint and then just pull it across with my hand. You could also just use the roller, um, you know, the metal stick that it comes with and, and use it like, like it's intended as well. But I, I really like this finish that it gives me. It's a smoother finish. It doesn't have as many brush strokes. And then it also doesn't have the like dimpling kind of orange peel texture that can happen when you roll things as well. When you're doing this method on the edges your paint will pull up a little bit and then it'll start to drip if you don't clean it up because I am going all the way from one side to the other. So what I do is just kind of clean it up with the sponge roller that I was already using. I'll do a little dabbing, I'll do a little rolling. Sometimes I will use like the drier side of the um, sponge roller to absorb more paint and kind of clean it up but I try not to touch the face of the dresser, you know, drawer that I've just worked so hard to get nice and smooth. I also have this little brush that seems to be the perfect size for the betweens of the dressers. You guys have asked me before, because I always paint the dressers without taking the drawers out, like how do I do that without making a big mess? So here's a little reminder of the before. Here are the two products I recommend to get the job done. And here's the after. <laughs> what a huge difference painting something white makes. Wow, paint really is magic. I love it. Well, thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you've ever wished you had a buddy that you could ask furniture painting related questions and pick their brain, I am now that friend of yours. So ask away, leave me a comment. I love chatting with you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.